Have you been there before? The scrapyard? Nah. Just seen the sign on my way to camp. What if we just, like, walk to the main road? This isn't the main road? No, this is all Hackett property. The main road is another mile that way. Wait, how do I know so much more about everything than you do? Wait, shut up. So basically, it's another hour walk to the main road, and then at least another three to four hour walk until we hit the nearest whatever? Yeah. What was that? Let's just keep moving. So, Ryan and Laura, huh? Oh boy. Do you think there was something going on there? <sighs> yeah, there were definitely sparks flying there. Yeah, I know, but I couldn't tell if it was angry sparks or like sexy sparks. It definitely felt like sexy sparks. <sighs> Doesn't she already have a boyfriend? Yeah, but Ryan's Ryan. Not that it matters, now that he's off on a daring adventure with Little Miss Mysterious. How do you compete with that? Kinda got close at the fire pit back there. Am I crazy or was something about to happen? It was always next year, right? Well, let's get through this year first. Wouldn't really matter anyway. It looks like we finally know Ryan's type. Confident. And heroic. With an eye patch. So pirates. Maybe she shivers his timbers. <laughs> there. Oh shit. Relax. It's a motion sensor. We're okay. I think. Oh, look, steampunk's back in. Ew, come on, this way. So what do we do now? Well... I guess we just make ourselves at home. We have up some cocktails, see what's on the TV. No? Why are you always so positive? Oh, why do you keep asking me that? Uh, I asked you about your confidence, not your whatever is happening right now. Oh, I don't know. I guess I just. I don't like to see other people sad. Oh, please. What? Is that really what you think of your followers? Just a bunch of sad sacks that need you to cheer them up? Well, come after me. Don't come after my followers. My emanation. You really need to come up with a better name for that. Hell yeah, I do. <laughs> Well, fuck this nine, huh? Yeah. Come on. I want to hear you say it. Fuck this night. Fuck it all the way to morning. <laughs> Everybody just relax. Can't shoot what you can't see, darling. Gotcha. Don't tell me what you did to my Kaylee.
Everybody stop! Constant. What the fuck is going on up here? Uh, uh, wake up. Wake up. Darling, come on. Wake up. She's gone. Little Bobby. Mom's gone. Cool. Yeah. No more party. No more protecting anyone. Travis. I'm close. Stand by. Over.
There are bears around here. You don't we ain't playing games no more, little girl. Try me, motherfucker. <laughs> you know something? I ain't got enough silver to kill you. But our sure to hell can make you suffer.
Yo, come on, man. This is my knife. No, please. Please. Nobody takes my knife. You stabbed me. You're leaking red like a juice box. No. Oh, please, you, you can you can help me. No, man, you're bleeding out. The only thing I can do is put you out of your misery. Humane life. <sighs> Oh no, you've been bit! Pick on someone your own size. Travis! Oh, oh, easy. Easy. What the fuck happened to you? Oh, you know, nothing out of the ordinary. Oh, Ryan! Oh, how bad is it? So sorry. <sighs> that bad, huh? I keep trying to fix it. Whatever this is, people keep getting hurt. First, Max, how are you? <sighs> it's not your fault. I didn't have to come here. I shouldn't have let you come. Uh, you're not the boss of me. <laughs> Sorry. It's okay. Am I dying? You've lost a lot of blood. But it'll, it'll heal though, right? Wait. Maybe it, maybe it will. What? Ryan, if you let me bite you. What? If you let me bite you, it means you'll be infected, which means. Which means it will heal. Yeah. But it also means... Yeah, yeah, I got it, Big Bad Wolf. Yeah. <sighs> Ryan, I don't have much time. I can feel it like it's fighting to get out. If you let me bite you and you heal, then... Then I have to kill Chris. It's, it's not killing Chris, it's killing a werewolf. It's saving your own life. And mine. And Max's and your friend's, too. Let you bite me. And live to kill Chris Hackett. Or bleed out and die. Pretty much, yeah. It's your call. For now. So we doing this or no? Tender for you. He should start to feel better soon, I guess.
He caught it. guys never throw anything out, huh? So, do you want to give me some direction on what we're looking for specifically? Well, most of these cars look like they've already been stripped of parts. Just empty frames and chassis, which doesn't help us much. Okay, so we're looking for... engines? Well, anything relatively intact. Got it. Looks like we got our work cut out for us, huh? Try not to make too much noise. Oh, right. Anything by you? Not yet. Keep looking. These sons of bitches had it all planned out. Who's T? Looks like these guys were cooking the books a little. Dodgy. You said it. Documentary. No. Shut up, Clint. Let's go.
taking Brian's, okay? He knows what he's doing. Probably safer than we are out here. Come on. So, you ever operated a crane before? I actually used to be pretty, pretty good at the claw game at my local arcade. The kids used to call me the grabber. No, no, uh-uh. Uh oh I hear that, yeah. Look, why don't you see if you can lower it down so I can take a look under the hood? Sure, yeah, sure thing. Um. Just, uh, watch my back, yeah? Yeah. All right. Looks like somebody's mom never taught them how to clean up after themselves. Okay, let's see what we're working with. All right, not too complicated. Welcome back, grabber. Now you fall in a wag with you. What the hell is going on? My bad. Ah, oh, shit. Okay. All right. Here goes nothing. I think I found my calling. About time! <laughs> well, maybe we can see if we can try and get this thing running. <gasps> Score!
rusty bitch. We can't just sit here. Why not? Dylan said it's safe here. Uh, yeah, I just... I don't want to be waiting around. But that's literally all we need to do. Just wait until morning, right? Fine. But we need protection. Go see what you can find. It's better than just sitting around. What'd you find? Oh, I'm just checking out this ladder. Is that a tiny little door up there? Uh, yeah. We'll open it up. Why? We don't know what's up there. Exactly. Have you not been paying attention, like, at all? Okay, what I mean is, it might be good for us to have an escape route. You know, we don't know what's up there. It, it, the lodge, there, there also could be a, a, a way for us to defend ourselves. Okay. Guess that makes sense. That was close. Need to 
rest a bit. You'll feel better soon. Cool. I'm feeling pretty good, actually. What are you doing? Stop it. Do you smell that? No. Never mind. Let's just find another way down. A way to Chris Hackett. Or just a way out, maybe. I'm done being chased and stabbed. Sure. And another way out. Fine. Watch your step. Yep. What was that? I think... I think we found Chris Hackett. Now everyone's back to normal? What? Oh. You think this is over? This isn't over. Uh, I don't understand Chris is dead. Oh. Well, Chris wasn't the first. That's not possible. Caleb. Kaylee. The girl you killed? Her brother. What? <sighs> Caleb bit Chris and Kaylee. Chris was just trying to protect him. He was a good man, my brother. Well, then who bit Caleb? Silas. We've been tracking him for years. He's a, a gypsy, a transient. 
He'd been long gone from the area, but we hoped he'd come back so we could end this. Anyway, there's sightings up and down the coast. A feral albino child. Giant white wolf. White wolf? What? What'd you say? Where? Where'd you see it? Hey, buddy, go! At the, At the cabins earlier tonight. Okay. Okay, it makes sense. It all makes sense. Uh, he must have been back for months, and he's what ran you off the road two months ago. Help me. Help me. We can still save Caleb. We can still save what's left of my family. We, we can help those who are still alive. Why the hell should I trust you? I'm not asking you to trust me. I'm telling you we can end this. We kill Silas, everyone gets better. Everyone, uh, who's still alive anyway. Okay, okay, so... Where would we even find him? I know exactly where to find him. Okay, let's go. This doesn't mean I forgive you for what you did to me. I understand. Can, can someone please get me some fucking clothes? You had your chance. You had your chance to wipe out that wretched family, and you failed. <laughs> Doesn't matter. There's still time. We can still come out on top. Past is the past. Let's just <clears throat> look to the future, shall we? The sun. The vitality of a new day. There's still time to wake up to the warmth of a night survived. Your choices, your actions, your very life hangs in the balance. It's up to you to find your path in the darkness and see the sun rise once again. The Hierophant! Where did you find this? Where did you find it? This shouldn't be here. He's been through enough pain. No, no, no. My poor boy. You see what that did to us? No. What have they done? What have they done?
Mommy's coming, Silas. Mommy's coming, Silas! 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 Oh, they hurt us. He's out there still, all alone. Each full moon, they hunt him, armed with silver, trying to put an end to a curse they inflicted upon themselves when they set my show ablaze six years ago. Stupid children. Little silence. My little white wolf. You must be protected. You must not follow this path. Do you understand? Remember how I've helped you all this time? Remember how much I've done for you? 